So it's been some months since we were able to get back onto the dune buggy. Uh, we've had a lot of fun things going on here in the shop that have kept me away from working on it since last May. Uh, let me talk to you about that a little bit. us from doing the dune buggy in May was uh, this pool right here. We're digging a hole for this pool and we found some wires that weren't supposed to be there. Those wires ended up running to the shop, which means we had to do a full rewire and because the pool came first and other stuff came second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth, we didn't really get around to getting things wired up until uh, just March. No, just this February. It's March now. But yeah, February we got things wired up and we get back in here. So during the rewire, we also found out this wall was pretty rotten. So we had to put in uh, some new uh, 2x6 studs to keep the whole thing from going down. Uh, then we were able to uh, install the new fuse panel. So we could put more things in here. Right now we got 220 amps powering all the lights and stuff. Uh, we and then uh, we got somewhere we're going to you know, put in a 240 outlet so we can run our welder. Uh, but anyway, for the most part, you know, we're going to do that, get that set in. Once we're done with that, we can get back in welding. So for the most part, whole shop's up and running now, which means back to the dune buggy. Where we last left off, I uh, started welding up our rectangular tubing uh, here across the back for our back attachment. And I welded in some rectangular tubing underneath the Napoleon hat here. A lot of this was pretty rusted out and crusty, so we're going to put this in to stiffen it up. So the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to make a rectangular tubing rail going around the outside here that will follow the uh, same profile as the bottom of the buggy. So we're going to do this on both sides, and then once that's done, we can start putting the floor in and some cross rails for where our seat braces are going to be. So we got the dune buggy shell flipped upside down right now, so that way I can find the angle which I'll have to bend the uh, square tubing or the rectangular tubing for our perimeter frame rails. I'm going to use my trusty angle finder. Uh, some of you more astute viewers may notice that this is just two sticks with a bolt in them. Uh, doesn't tell me the exact measurement, but whatever, I can move this any way I want it and uh, put the profile on top of my tubing, and that way I know how to make my pie cuts to help bend it in. So this is the profile here we want to follow. Uh, the side of the buggy goes straight here and then curves in here and then meets at the front Napoleon hat. So we can take, we can take our uh, cool angle finding tool and we kind of line everything up here. So make sure it's straight that way and then along the front here it's nice and straight. And that will give us, that will give us our profile that we need. And that actually looks pretty darn good. We'll go with that. So I'm going to measure this out, uh, see how, uh, how long it's going to be for our length of tube. Uh, Matthew, would you give us a hand, please? Yes. So I'd hold that there. Boom. And then, actually, hold it on the side there. Good to go down to the side here. All right, we're going to hold it tight. We're going to wrap it around. And it looks like 54 inches from tip to tail. Beautiful. But we've also got to take into account two inches here. So that means the measurement of our outside frame is going to be 50 inches when it's all said and done. Um, it's going to be fun. So we're going to make ourselves a cardboard template that will fit perfectly on our rectangular tubing. So we're going to trace this guy out. Okay, and we're going to cut it out.
we're left with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half to make our center line. And then here we've got the center line for our template. And then I'm going to cut down the middle of our center line here. That way we can, we can hinge this. So we bring in our template here and we match this up. We bring our angle finder in to match the template up. And then once that is done, which that looks pretty good. So we hold the two ends together like this, bring in our Sharpie, we draw a line. So that's our pie cut. We cut that out. And then now we're going to have a perfect angle. Let's go to the dune buggy and see how it fits. Okay, we're going to line it up. And uh, I'd say, I'd say that looks pretty good. All right, so we drew the center line where we want the bend to be. Now we can take our template, line the straight part up with our line, and then make sure the template, because it's the same width as our uh, rectangular tubing, we can make it nice and straight. Once, it, once it's there, draw our line. Now we know where to make our pie cut to uh, make the bends. So we're going to cut this whole section out here. And we'll bend it in. All right, to cut out the straight portion, we're going to use the uh, trusty jet metal cutting bandsaw. Top tip, always soak the blade before you cut. It makes for silky smooth skin with no leftover residue. Also, I make the chop smell very nice. So what we just did was we cut off the tails of the rear frame here, so we could uh, weld, weld our side rail flush to that. We uh, angled the front here so we can go in there nice and neat. We chambered all the edges, or all the edges, so that way we can uh, you know, get a real nice fit fit up when we weld things together. And uh, that is what we're doing next. All right, so we've got it set on top of the dune buggy, and it looks like it's going to work out perfectly. So I'm quite pleased with this.
anyhow, what we're finding out about the uh, the dune buggy body is it uh, the dune buggy body is kind of since it hasn't been attached to anything for quite some time, it's starting to move around a lot on its own. So the dune buggy is not symmetrical anymore. We're making our frame symmetrical, and that's kind of how we're finding out how unsymmetrical the dune buggy is. Here, come on, let me show you. So if you look there, that fit up front there looks actually pretty good. It's looking good all the way that way, but then look at this. So you see how the bottom of the body bows out real wide there in the middle? But then look, we get to the back, and it bends on back in, and it lines up perfect along the back. Yeah, once we fix that, it'd be fine. You know what? All right, so we're going to stop here on the dune buggy. I'm all out of materials, so uh, I can't finish uh, welding up the frame, or fabricating the frame. Um, and it's, uh, we can't go buy anything either because it's Sunday. And it also happens to be St. Patrick's Day, which means everything's closed and everyone's drunk. Except for us. We're here in the shed, sober as a vicar, cutting away, making progress on the buggy. Uh, but stay tuned, we're going to have more stuff coming as soon as I get more materials and we'll get back at it. So until then, everybody, lots of beach. Mm -hmm.